Has the siren gone? No. I think it has. No, I think people have gotten a bit excited, but I don't think so, Peter. Oh, the scissors down up there. Oh, this is nasty. Because the crowd are all on, and I'm not sure that the game is over. I know the players started saluting even before Rayburn had kicked that goal. Well, this is a shambles. The finish of the grand final. And how many times has this been the case at Princess Park that the siren hasn't been heard? But only 26 minutes gone, so it can't have been blown. This is just disgraceful. This is... They can't throw the ball up. Well, look, unless these spectators get off the ground, the siren definitely has hasn't gone. gone. Well, Rayburn has kicked a goal, and the difference is seven goals in favour of Werribee. So they've got it won, but the final scene hasn't been oh, and enacted as yet. Police involved. I think Jack Aziz was decked behind play. These are just appalling scenes here at Princess Park. Oh. And a, look at that. You know, some, some brave person that's running from behind. Well, this I really feel for the VFA, who have worked so hard to ensure that these scenes are no longer prevalent as they were in years gone by. Well, some culprit's been nabbed there, but I don't think he was the only one. Disgraceful. Is the only word for it. Well, there are a couple of players should be ashamed yes. of themselves. Yeah. Well, the spectators may have thought the siren had gone. There were a couple of players there, Peter, who should not have done what they did. It was idiotic. Behaved like absolute dills. I mean, the real courage is getting the football, not running around shaping up to punch up with blokes. I mean, that's kid stuff. Absolute kid stuff. Exactly right, Philip. Well. The scoreboard says it all. You know, spoil a great exhibition for the VFA. 42 points. It's been a demolition here today by Werribee on Port Melbourne, who'd only lost twice for the season. They finished one and two on the ladder, and two is going to come out on top. But, uh, well, we've got another three or four minutes to play yet. There's still spectators on the ground. It can't hardly restart the game. This is dangerous. Oh, they cannot start the game. That is idiot. There's horses on the ground. Well, there's Hicks calling for it, running into the goal square from Munch. Total disarray here at Princess Park. Hicks in danger. Well, I wouldn't know where to begin to describe. There's so many scenes. It's absolutely pandemonium raining here at the moment. Well, Power, don't kick it out on that outer side of the ground. Oh, no. They're going to go right into the throng. Oh, I think they've decided to call yeah. it off. Werribee deserve it premiers for season 1993. And there he is, Donald McDonald. He's the one that's going to be chaired, I suspect. The captain coach has led from the front all season in his first year as a senior coach. And the Tigers have won their first ever premiership in the VFA. And for Port Melbourne, the 17th time they've been runners-up. And this is a wonderful side. Donald McDonald. Well, he's breathed the fresh, a breath of fresh air into the VFA this season with his honesty, integrity, and he's just gelled this side together who have been a much maligned side too, Philip. They've embarked on massive recruiting sprees, been guilty of paying top dollar for the wrong player. But under Donald McDonald, they made a hard, stringent policy that we're going to experiment with the young ones. We're going to reward the performers and the youngsters. And he's reaped his due rewards. We'll get Phil's reaction shortly. But uh, the birthday boy, Tim Harrington, with Ross Booth. Well, Tim, happy birthday. Thanks very much. First ever. Very, very first ever. Oh, I'm wrapped. Yeah, just a great effort. Yeah, spoiled at the end, but... Uh, that was out of our control. We just played for him. We are not doing the right things. It was a shame, but uh, yeah. fantastic. And a great, a difficult run through the finals. But you're obviously confident all the way. Yeah, we showed a lot of character all the final series and uh, just topped it off today. Just a great story, you know. Let's go. Thanks, Tim. Well, Tim.
Jim Harrington uh, played in the Premiership under you, Philip, at Cody? No, he didn't, Peter. No, he came after the grand, after the Premierships. But uh, it was a, a pleasure to coach as a player. He had two years at Coburg. And well. he did a big job today in the back line, picking up Jason Love. And there you can see all the boys very excited. Disappointment or disappointing the way the game finished there with spectators on the field and a few blokes showing a bit of Dutch courage. Jack is there, the association's top goal scorer, finished with 97 for the second consecutive year in a grand final. He's been goalless, but he kicked uh, 13, back, 13 goals in the final series. And they've won three out of four in the final series, Werribee, to win it. Port Melbourne, one and one. They've lost the one that counts. Getting applause from their loyal fans. But, uh, well, that's going to be eating away at them. They lost just two games all season, and they've lost the grand final. It'll eat at them all through summer. Maybe they can make amends next year. And we shouldn't really harbour on this, but the, the incidents that took place towards the latter part of that final term, I guess the one fellow that would feel terrible about the whole thing is Damien Drum. Knowing Damien, he would be absolutely appalled by the uh, incidents and uh, he would be feeling bad enough as it is. I just wonder what prompted the invasion. I know that the, well, some people the Werribee ran players on. stopped and were saluting as if the siren had gone. Tim Reddits has played in a, a third grand final victory. Ross Booth has got him. Well, three. Is it just as good, Tim? Oh, well, they're all the same. They're all good. They're all good. Yeah, yeah. really good. Bit, a, bit unfortunate, that little bit at the, the end there. Clearly, the, uh, the players didn't think the siren had gone. No, no, just just a crowd invasion. Yeah. Yes, it took the, the gloss off it, didn't it? A marvellous win. Took the gloss off it, but no, I think we'll catch up though, later on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so well worth the, the transfer and a st no, slow good. start to the season for you. Slow start, but no, oh, good finish. Good Back luck. on the old home ground. Good, good lot of good lot of blokes. We sort of, you know, we never gave up all year, even when we did lose. So we've done well. What did Donald Donald do this week in terms of tactics and strategy and, and legs? Because you must have been very tired after those games at the round. Oh, we we just. Had, it was pretty wet during the week. We just had a couple of short sessions, and you know the, our legs. Uh, oh, the show today we're we're in at the ball pretty hard. So, yeah. you made history. Okay. Tim Rand, it's a gentleman as ever. But Sam, uh, Phil, what could you expect from a ball from Jamaica? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he certainly did play a tremendous game. He blunted that uh, Port Melbourne midfield, got well on top, and I thought he, he lit Sam. You know, yeah. for the big one, he's just one of those sort of characters, one of those sort of players. Well, let's go down for the presentations in the 1993 Vic Safe Cup. And we just move back in the front. Thank you. I don't know what the Premier will make if he's outing to the VFA, Peter. Yeah, just right here. Well, we saw Nick Walsh in the background there. Uh, injury has really uh, robbed him of a more active role in this grand final victory, but he played his part through the season. Aidan Toomey, the executive director of the VFA, is preparing to orchestrate proceedings. But Donald McDonald, what a performance has been, Sam. You hit it on the head. A breath of fresh air he's been. And, uh, well, congratulations to Werribee in recognising his potential as a coach. And he hasn't let them down. Ross Booth. Well, Bruce Montgomery, the president of the Werribee Football Club, after all those years, finally, a first division uh, premiership. Of course, you won some second division premierships. So well, how many was that? No, never. Never, never won a never, senior premiership. Never no, won a senior. It's well. our first, and that's why it's so sweet. <laughs> our blokes have been focused all year on today, really. I know Port were top side. They only lost two games, but they lost them both by nine goals. We never lost a game by more than three, and I really did feel we'd win. Our blokes felt we'd win, and... As it turned out, we were more focused on the day. We we went hard at the ball, and I think they may have lost the plot of it. Okay, well done, Bruce. Thanks, it's time for the presentation. It was great. Uh, I just uh, I just like to um, thank uh, Port Melbourne Footy Club for a uh, good, hard, tough game. I mean, that's what grand finals are about. And uh, I'd like to thank all the uh, the Werribee people, and thanks for coming out. I mean, it's been a long time coming, this Premiership, and uh, first one's always the best one, but I just want you people to get behind us and we'll keep marching on. And to the players, I mean the players, this is ours, boys. <laughs> We're going to party tonight. And all the, all the blokes, and to all the players, 
all the players that missed out and just kept training. This is yours as well. And to Monty, Turtle, Kirk, the committee sales and the supporters. Yeah. Well, the cup now being handed around amongst the players. Matt's if I could have your attention again, please, to present the Norm Goss Medal and the Vic Safe Man of the Match Award. Would you please welcome Deputy Commissioner Brendan Crimmins to present the award to David Alday. Congratulations, David. Great game. David also gets the Mazda car for the week. Well done, David. Now, to present the individual replica premiership tops, the president of the VFA, Mr. Tony Hannabury. Number one, David Alday.